Oh boy, this is so exciting. Honda Jazzes, or Jazz Eye. I'm not quite sure exactly what the plural is, but look, there's two of them. And the eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed that they do look slightly different. And that is because the model on my left is in fact the new Jazz Cross Star, slightly taller. And the one on my right is of course, the original Jazz. First introduced over two decades ago, it has very much become a staple of the motoring masses, but this is ultimately the most radical and exciting evolution in the model's history. And I'm going to explain how and why throughout the course of this video. Crossstar and the regular Jazz both share the same platform and clever EHEV fully hybrid powertrain. In a nutshell, this is the combination of a conventionally powered one and a half litre petrol engine and a state of the art electric motor. It's entirely self charging. It recuperates energy through a very clever regenerative braking setup. I'll spare you the in depth technical breakdown, but what that essentially means in the real world is improved fuel economy, lower running costs, and fewer grams per kilometre of CO2. You simply just fill it up with fuel. There's no plugs, no wires, no change in routine required. Simple, effective, no fuss. You can even drive around at lower speeds for limited periods of time under solely electric power. Inside is arguably where the Jazz and the Jazz Cross Star really come to their own. Firstly, there is this fantastic panoramic view and these smaller A-pillars that create this really wide field of vision. It's safe, practical, and helps create this really pleasant airy cabin environment. Then there's the seats. These are heated and feature a very clever anti-fatigue design. And there's not a single animal product in here. In fact, Honda have been very keen to make sure that the environmentally friendly credentials don't simply end with the drivetrain. Most of the materials are recycled and I absolutely love the seven inch multimedia system. It's intuitive, clear and easy to use and features Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Technology wise, there's a veritable smorgage board of features. There's the usual raft of Honda active safety features, including pre-crash and lane keep assist, which can be deactivated from within the cabin at the discretion of the driver. Space-wise, both boast spacious boots for the segments and the ability to easily fold the rear seats down adds a generous helping of additional load space. Rear headroom and legroom is good. I'm about five foot 11. Five foot nine. Whatever, as you can see, it's really good. But on the road, well, it's a really nice experience. The ergonomics are good and the extra height lended by the Crossstar's increased clearance provides a really commanding driving position. Cabin noise is comparatively low when you consider other vehicles in this segment. And I really like the way that you can see how it's juggling the balance of petrol and electric power as you're driving. It is overall just really, as I say, a nice place. Well, I've actually really enjoyed this. These are two genuinely good hybrid hatchbacks. And if you'd like to book an appointment to explore either of them in greater detail, then please don't hesitate to contact a member of our dedicated Listers Honda team who will be on hand to assist you.